and she talk was trying to play counter attack. What you've got, Lingard, uh, and Tony. Right, Aiden, you there? Okay, let's start with someone else then. Uh, do you want to start? Yeah, go for it. Uh, hi, Nina. Um, obviously, uh, a, a, a mixed night and obviously a, a bit of a topsy turvy game. But what, what, what do you take from that? Is it, is it the defensive mistakes that, that, that cost you out? We started only the game. Um, something that has been repeating. Um, but yes, all the good things that we did in attack. Um, was taken away, but the way we, especially the way we approached defensive situations on counter attacks, so that that was the the main, the main, the main situation. Uh, counter attacks can be avoided um, if you use a different approach, but um, that was the main aspect of the game. We defend poorly. Obviously, dis disappointed in, in that respect. Then you just feel that those goals were av avoidable. You know, I think so. Honestly, I think so. Um, something that we have to work. Something that we have to work on and, and try to improve our our plays on that aspect um, to to find the solutions. But I think offensively we were okay. Possession of the ball, creative and balanced. And chances, but uh, concede three goals. All of them very identical on the way. On the way, we conceded. Um, really unpleased me, and I'm not pleased at all. Um, obviously, you've got to ask with, uh, with Johnny. I mean, a, a really difficult blow for him to to suffer such an injury again. I mean, just your your thoughts on that, and you know the the road he's he's got, he's got ahead now. Yes, now it's um, it's tough. It's tough for us um, because John is a very important player, and because it's 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 the same the same the same injury that will require a lot of time. But um, now it's it's to to build up his confidence because he's gonna he's gonna face a surgery, and there are moments of doubts. Uh, but we are here to to show Johnny that we support him and. He's going to play for Wolves many, many times. And just finally from me, uh, I, know, I know you focus on different aspects of the game tonight, but were you particularly pleased for, for Fabio to, to get a goal? He, he looks like he's, be, he's been, you know, getting more comfortable and more confident and he, he took his goal well. Yeah, it was a good finish. It was a good finish. He, like you said, he's, he's improving. He had similar situations before that almost got, got the goal today. He, he helped the team on that on that aspect, and he fight. He, he's a young lad that we we, we have big hopes. It requires a lot of work. Thank you, Nuno. Cheers. <laughs> Nuno, it's uh, sorry, it's Aiden here from Sky. I could see your reaction in the first half on the sidelines to conceding the goals. Would it would it be fair to say you were angry with some of your defending? Oh, I'm, I'm angry with myself. I'm angry. I'm angry at the way the way we we deal with that situations. Of course, I'm angry. Why were you angry with yourself though, with your players who who made the errors, not you? Because it's my responsibility. Here is never. It's always us. It's always our 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 responsibility, our mistakes that we we will work on. That you know, try to improve. Don't ask. Don't expect me to come here and, and judge because I know how hard it is to be on a football pitch. Um, the attitude, the intentions are always good, but sometimes there are mistakes. And when the mistakes come, we analyze, we support the player, and we give them the solution. There must be some positivity though, because at three 0 down, it looked very bleak, but you managed to produce a fight back. Yeah, the momentum of the of the goal of Leander gives us hope, gives us belief. And that's what um, we transport to the second half. Uh, this belief that we can, we can still chase the game. Um, and the second half was was much much better, but uh, not enough. Thanks, Nuno. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, 
you know, um, we've seen you play uh, with four at the back uh, a few times before. Were you, were you considering doing that tonight um, anyway? Or was it Johnny and Bolly being out that, that led to the formation change? We had we had uh, we had um, the preparation of the game was was difficult with international break, but yesterday um, Bolly and Johnny were starting the games. Were starting the game. They were starting in uh, the eleven. We lost them. We tried to find um, a different a different solution. And you always seem to create a lot with that system. And obviously in the first half, and particularly with Pedence, you were creating a lot. I know it's not all about formations, but What's the answer to getting that system right from a defensive point of view? It requires balance. It requires um, a different approach. Um, when uh, when you are uh, moving the ball and have a circulation, we have to we have the weeds. You know that the mistake is going to happen because we will try to combine. And the counter attack, uh, the best way to avoid is being balanced, being in the right moments, and having an, an approach that the game is stopped there, not allowing the player to to run. Uh, because all the game, all the goals are more, more all identical. Uh, we were chasing um, the players of West Ham, and if you attack high, you must feel you must see the game in front of you, not chasing because it's, you have sixty meters to run to your goal. So finding the balance between the two, the two, the two, the two systems or shape, if you want, is what we will try to to do. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.